Hello everyone, Fizgus here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this one we will be covering mark points and the different ways to create them. This tutorial is not intended to be an extensive explanation on mark points and their associated systems, but I believe that if you follow this tutorial, you will be able to create mark points effectively. Let's get into it. Heads up display. The first method we will cover is how to create mark points on the HUD. In order to create mark points, press 7 on the ICP for mark. You will see that on your DED, it will be displayed mark along with the method of marking. You can cycle through the different methods of creating mark points by pressing sequence on your ICP rocker. With this method, there will be a cursor attached to your flight path marker. You can move it by using your radar cursor keys. If you want to put it back on your flight path marker, you can press TMS aft on your stick. To create a mark point, move the cursor near the location you want to mark and press TMS forward once. This will ground stabilize the cursor, allowing for more precise movements. Once you're happy with the position of the cursor, press TMS forward once more. This will create the mark point. If this is the first mark point you're creating for this mission, it will be defaulted to steer point 26. Joint helmet mounted queuing system. While having the HUD selected as the way to create mark points, you can use the Jehemix to create mark points as well. Simply look outside of your aircraft, press TMS forward long. You will see that the cursor is now on the crosshair of your visor. To put it back on the HUD, press TMS aft. As before, move the cursor using the radar cursor keys, then press TMS forward once to ground stabilize it when it's near the location you wish to mark. Make any adjustments if needed with the more precise controls. And when you're happy with the cursor's position, press TMS forward once more to create the mark point. Targeting pod. You can also use the TGP to create mark points. Simply cycle to it on your DED using the ICP rocker and bring up the TGP on one of your MFDs. Make the TGP page sensor of interest soy by pressing DMS aft. Once it is, move the TGP camera over the location you wish to mark. Keep in mind that contrary to the other two methods shown earlier, there won't be any ground stabilization with this method, meaning as soon as you press TMS forward once, the mark point will be created. Overfly. This method uses the physical location of the aircraft to create the mark point. Cycle to O-Fly on your DED, then fly over the location you wish to mark. When you feel you're roughly over the location, press TMS forward once. This method can be imprecise, especially at high altitudes. Fire Control Radar This method uses the air-to-ground radar of your aircraft to create a mark point. Cycle to FCR using the ICP rocker and then bring the air-to-ground radar page up on one of your MFDs. Make sure the radar page is soy, then move the radar cursor as before. Once the cursor is over the location you wish to mark, Press TMS forward once and the mark point will be created. Final considerations. I recommend that after creating a mark point, when referencing back to it, for example to employ weapons against that location, make sure to cursor zero your systems to eliminate any offsets created, especially if the TGP was in use. You can also create mark points while in the air-to-ground mode. This is especially useful if you're engaging a location while using the TGP and, for example, 
you find something that you wish to transmit later to your flight members using the data link. You can bring up the mark point system, create a mark point using the TGP as shown earlier or any other marking method and then transmit it via data link. Data link usage will be covered in a later video. And there we have it. Mark points are an excellent tool to mark locations of interest, either for navigation or combat purposes. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.